I've reached 500 subscribers, like, I never thought that I would even get to 500 subscribers, like, y'all don't understand how much I appreciate you guys, thank you guys so much, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm happy, I'm so happy, you know, yes, so you guys really at the title, what we will be talking about today, so before we jump into this video, make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Okay, and also click on the notification bell so you can miss the video whenever I upload. Now, I will apologize because your girl has been slacking. Okay, yes, I've been so tired. I've been like redoing my apartment and stuff like that. You guys will see like all the stuff I've been doing soon. Okay with me guys um yeah we got a lot of special content that will be coming up so yes all right you guys so we're talking about you know how i had you know me personally how i dealt with my you know depression you know anxiety and all that stuff you know especially after like having a baby you know for me guys um so in the video a while ago like a couple months ago i had posted um you know why I ran away from home when I was 14 years old because I was depressed at that age. I'll put that link for that video down below for you guys so that you guys can check that out. I was depressed at that age where I pulled myself through. Um, as I got older, I am 29 years old now, so as I got older, like around I would say, you know, like 24-ish, like I was in a depressed state, I was, um, like I was not eating right, or like, I'm a really small person, as you guys know, if you guys are watching, you know, I'm a small person, um, so when I do pick up weight, like I get really happy, you know, when I'm happy, I start to pick up like a little bit of weight, like, you know, that fits me, and at that point in my life, I was really depressed, where I was, like I said, I was not eating right, like at all. I did not really to eat right. I just worried about my kids eating. That was it. That was all. And um, like I lost so much weight by doing that. Like, like I did not know who I was looking at in the mirror when I looked at myself. Like I looked at myself like, okay, I know that you're a really small girl, but damn, look at you, bitch. You know, and I had to pull myself out of that. And I became depressed because I was with a person that did not make me happy and I had lost myself. You know, and I got so caught up in being a mom that, like I said, I lost myself and I had to like go refine myself. And you know, you know, like, I don't blame my kids for that. That's on me, you know. But my kids helped me pull through my depression. Like, that's. That's why I, I just, I love them so much. Like, they really, like, they're the light of my life. And they keep me going and just keep me pushing to be stronger in every single way. Like, nobody else can do that by my kids, like, honestly. Um, you know, recently, um, I had a baby. I do have five children. Um, I recently had a baby four months ago. And, um, you know, I went through a little baby blue stage kind of. You know, and like, I think like very recent, I went through the big flu stage. It didn't really get into depression, but I did get like postpartum like and anxiety. I already have anxiety as it is, so postpartum anxiety is just like way too well. Like, boom, just like snapping in the face, like about two months, it like just snapping in the face, and I was kind of going down like a spiral where I was looking at I was doing good, and I was doing this and doing that, and then. A certain person was just like hating and like okay i'm just i'm gonna say hating a couple people was okay a couple people were out in the world you know i don't want to mention my name but you know a couple people were just saying you know oh you know you're too young to be depressed you're too young to be upset or sad because you have too many kids like first of all we're going to set the back straight now it doesn't matter what age you are you can become depressed at any age in your life okay you can get anxiety at any age in your life it does not matter how many kids you have you can still become depressed after having a child it's called postpartum depression mothers and fathers get postpartum depression 
okay? It is scientific fact, okay? Y'all can Google it, y'all can look it up for those who don't believe it. But hopefully, I mean, some people, they already know that happens, but for people that say that, you know, about me, I'm just like, you know, just let it be. It is what it is. I'm not gonna let them affect me. And I did, like, I bounced back from that, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I just was going through a different situation with somebody else that, you know, was just like, like just knocking my style, like, like just knocking me down, basically. I was, you know, when I was trying to do my best, like I don't take big giant steps, like I take little steps. Some people take big steps, some people take little steps, you know what I mean? You can't rush somebody's progress, okay? You can't help somebody else heal, especially if you're not healed, honestly. If you're not healed, you can't help somebody else heal because all the unhealing that you have inside of you, you're you're pushing that out as well when you're trying to help somebody else heal and they feel how unhealed you are and it's just making them feel a little bit worse and they get depression or anxiety. Well, you know, um, so, yes, yeah, so I've been going through that and like, I have not worked out in like two weeks because I had just been going through a lot lately and I had to really get back on track like um, last week I did work out like two days but I had to get back on top of it and work out my three to four days like I was doing and you know just making myself happy and do what I need to do you know what I mean like I gotta step outside of yes I am a mother I am you know a partner to somebody as well as I am Sean Tanger and I have to find myself. I have to become happy. Like, if I'm not happy, my kids are not gonna be happy. And I say my kids because I genuinely mean that shit. Sorry for my language, but I genuinely mean that, okay, because it's for my children. I have to be better for my kids at the end of the day. I didn't have a good childhood, yes, it's out third, but that's the past, and I'm letting go of that, and I'm gonna move forward and keep on kicking do what I need to do. Okay, yes. So like I said, I have been going through a lot lately. Um, you know, to like a breaking point where, you know, it's just a lot. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's talk about like how I pulled myself out of um, the like depressed anxiety state of mind that I was going through at the time. Um, first things first, I had to step back. I had to do a reality check. Really look at myself in the mirror and talk to myself and ask myself, what do you deserve? What do you want in life? How are you really feeling? Like, I had to really, you know, admit that to myself. Wrote it down in the journal, you know, somewhere in the journal, how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling this way, you know. I had to dig into my past somewhat to find that peace, you know, what I mean? like, because I, I grew up fast. So, I had to find my peace for myself, you know, and I found my peace, and I'm so happy that I did. Um, another thing that I did, I started to find things that I love to do, okay? I'm, I'm the girl that loves to bake. I'm the girl that loves to cook, okay? I like to even clean. Okay, like I know people are like, well, oh, you like to clean, work girl, like that's just something that we all have to do. But no, like honestly, like I actually do enjoy cleaning. Like sometimes, you know, not when the kids constantly constantly make a mess, but I like to clean and make my space look nice. All right, you know, like I like to like re re renovate, like you know, redecorate and stuff like that. Um, I love to. So when I started doing the cooking thing. Like, I started to do brand new recipes that, you know, I never tried before. Trying different things. Trying a whole, like, different diet. That's when I tried the pescatarian diet where it was just, like, fish and I wouldn't eat meat. And, um, gardening. 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 I love to garden. It's, like, very therapeutic to me. I love to garden, like, fruits and vegetables. Flowers is not my forte. So, it's not... 
I'm more of a fruit and vegetables lady. Okay. Yes. I will have all the garden store. That's what we're gonna put everybody come to my house. Oh, what do you want? You want some stuff for salad? I got it. I just like to I like to garden. Like I feel happy when I see all the green stuff in the yard and everything. Um it's a garden, you know. Um like I started to really get into my natural hair more. And, you know, because at that point when I was depressed, my hair was like really, really, really short. Um, so, like, you know, I had to really get back to that. And that's when I really got into my natural hair. I really started doing research, really started doing this and doing that, all that type of stuff to get my hair going. As well as, um, like I would say, you know, my kid. I don't really ever get me time, but you know, just looking at my kids help me pull through the work. Like they really help me pull through. I don't want really to see mommy sad, mommy upset, mommy crying, mommy mad. You know, they don't need to see that from me because when they grow up and they pick that up and then they're repeating that cycle. And I want to end that damn cycle for my children because they don't need to go through that. What's going to happen? You know what I mean? So what I would say for those that are going to get anxiety and going to depression, listen, most people go through it. I'm not going to say everybody goes through it, but everybody goes through this once in their life. And, um, you know, you just have to be strong. You have to push through. Stand up for yourself. You know what I mean? Get some time out for yourself. Find out things that you love to do. And just try to keep pushing. Don't let anybody make you feel less than what you are. Because we are all worthy. That's why we are here on this earth. We're worthy. You are worthy. So don't let anybody knock you down. Don't knock yourself down because we are our hardest critics. Do not knock yourself down at all. Keep pushing. Keep striving. Find things that you really love. Try new things. Take a walk. Just take a walk outside for like three minutes. Get some fresh air, sit on your porch, get some air. Write in a book, start reading a book, you know? If you went to the Bible, start reading the Bible. You know what I mean? You have to start doing things for yourself. And, you know, like I finally got out of the phase of where, you know, it's all about me being a mom. Like I really had to find time for myself, you know what I mean? Like, Listen, sis hasn't got her nails and had this going on in years, years, beyond years, okay? I haven't been to the hair salon in years. But I've been doing it myself, of course. But you know, sometimes you just want to spoil and you just want to do that, you know what I mean? And you deserve that at the end of the day. Because if I feel good, I'm going to make sure that everything is good. You feel me? Like, my nails and my hair done, listen, I feel good, I feel great. You're going to get that good energy and vibe over me. But regardless, even if I don't have my nails and my hair done, my hair still looks good to me. Listen, this is still going to give all that positive and good energy. Not every day is going to be a good day. Not every day is going to be perfect and shiny and everything like that. You know what I mean? Like, we all go through our days. But we have to pull through. We have to be strong for ourselves. Okay? It's like, we have to. And you will make it through. You will make it through. Um, Alright you guys, so this is the end of the video. I'll probably do a, like a part two of really like explaining more about like you know anxiety and depression, you know, just breaking down more stuff. I will definitely do that in another video. I didn't want to make this video too too long, so you know, I just wanted to explain my experiences, you know, just give you guys like shed some light on the situation. Um Again, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for really supporting me, like, really. And just for, like, you know, watching my videos and encouraging me and doing all that type of stuff. Especially the ones that had been there from, like, day one since I started my channel. Thank you guys so, so much. Like, seriously, thank you. You know, I can't give y'all how many things in the world, like, I can go on and on and on. But, like I said, this is the end of the video. Um, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day. Keep reaching for the stars, reach for the moon, and reach for the damn sun. Do what y'all gotta do to make y'all so happy. Stay safe out there and stay blessed. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below some content that you guys would like to see, and I will definitely do that for you guys. And don't forget, on Wednesdays, we do Beauty Tip Wednesdays, so you already know what that is, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.